This is the Umarex Hammer Carbine. We all know the longer version here, longer barrel. This one is actually, when we went through the design phase, we designed it so, like if you're in a tripod, if you have to climb up in a tree stand, you're in a real tight hunting blind, it shortened it up. You get the same performance out of it. A little bit less feet per second, but it doesn't matter in the, in the long run. We've got a lot larger bottle on here. If you notice, there's not, um, compared to the other one, we used to have a hand grip down here. You'll just hold the bottle on this and you get four full shots out of it. it the tip of it's already threaded for a moderator, so you can screw this off. Screw one of the 50s right on top. It shoots a 510 bullet. The weight range on there is a 255 all the way to a 550 grain. That's the max size that we can actually fit in the magazine. The magazine holds two shots, so you can fire two shots. It automatically indexes, so as soon as you cock the handle on it, it automatically pops it over and it's ready for a follow-up shot. So you can fire one, cock it, fire right away again for that backup shot. The Foster fitting is how we fill this, so we've standardized the way that we fill the, our guns. As we move forward, we're going to keep staying with the Foster fitting. You can get no probes, nothing like that. You can directly connect to that. That connects to a 4,500 PSI tank and it dumps 3,000 PSI per shot. I'm telling you, this, this baby rocks, so it does the job for sure. On the, uh, the left-hand side over here, you have your, your gauge that tells you how much is actually in the tank. There's not an output pressure, you don't have to worry about that. That's already taken care of. It is a regulated gun, so if you sight it in at 75, it will hit the same spot every time, regardless of the pressure, until the point you run out of air. Picatinny rail runs on top, and then we have a scope that runs from here. Today we have a three by nine on there, but you can put whatever you want. Probably most of your shots you'll take will be under 100 yards with this. This is the Umarex Hammer Carbine. Let's join Aiden as he takes out the Umarex Hammer Carbine on a whitetail hunt. It's a little bit, little bit open, but we got plenty of coverage to go from there. It's 81 degrees and it's winter time. I'm gonna be shooting the hammer. Again, 50 cal, 320 grains. This is a, the carbine version too, so I'm really excited to be able to move it around inside the box blind and make that work, so let's do it. I was getting a little discouraged, and just because of the heat, I'm like, man, the heat this is going to be moving at this time. They're all going to come in at nighttime. And so then we looked off, and uh, I looked to the left, and then there's a doe that's standing there. So I was like, oh, there's a doe moving. And then to the right, all of a sudden, there's three does now. And so they started moving in, and so like, okay, things are out moving now. It's getting later. Start feeding, start milling around there, you know, digging through the bushes and stuff and whatever, and then I see horns. That's a shooter. I think I'm going to send him for the roll on in the, in the grass. So the sh no, the shot feels good. I line it up. I put it right behind his shoulder. The uh, But it comes up. Then this guy just shows up out of nowhere. Like, boom, the sun's going. It's The sun's like his antlers are like, whoo, like they're on fire. I'm like, oh, holy smokes. So the like, heart gets racing. We've been sitting here sweating for like the last two hours. The does like are all standing in the way, and then the one there's another one that walks right up over here. I don't know, 
15 yards away, busting us. Starts to get a little stompy. I'm like, oh, here it goes. He's going to blow it. Then the one over here picks us up, hops the fence, it's over. But he gave us the one last look. And that was about 42 yards, I think, is where I ranged in there. So I don't know why I think gives the heart go. It's so good. <sighs> so he came out right. I, they take the, when you shoot them, they tend to take it like a natural trail from here. So he got popped. He comes through, takes off and goes right through here and cuts up. And then it looks like the straight shot from the trail was here. But that shot was good, so it, he may not have gone far. I found him. <laughs> but I think it's, it, so here, when he jumped the fence here, he came down and as he cut through, I know he stayed on this trail. They tend, when they're in trouble, they tend to take the path they know. So this is, See right here? Boom, boom. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's the first animal with the carbine. 50 cal hammer, carbine. Worked perfect, it was a blind situation. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. That shorter barrel helps move around. It's great, the shot was good. God, what a gorgeous animal. You guys have had a drought down here. I mean, so, so to get one like this is definitely a treasure. I get the question a lot that says, why, why do you like hunting with air guns? I think it's because it adds more challenge to it. With a regular rifle, you can reach out there and touch them at a longer distance. You have to be a little bit closer, you have to be a little bit faster. You know, in this opportunity here, we were hunting out of a blind, but if you're if you're doing a spot and stock, it's challenging. It's like hunting like with a bow. It's like the difference between a bow and a muzzle loader, and you gotta find that happy medium range. How close can I get to make the shot? You gotta know your gun, you gotta spend your time, you gotta hone your craft. That's what I like. I like the challenge piece of it. You know, hunting in general just puts you outdoors. Being outdoors for me is amazing.